So the earliest memory that I have is most probably when I was in poly, whereby I was given a role as a water sports club secretary that is like higher than uh, all the water sports club. I I was given this role. It came to me as a surprise first, but but the the guy who appointed me, which is the water sports club president, he told me that he felt that I was the right person. He told me that uh, he w- wanted to you know bring the best out of me, and this was the best post that he can give me. And the reason why he couldn't give me a higher post was also because I was very junior. Uh, in the whole was water sports club arena, so he he gave me a reason uh, to why I was appointed. More importantly, as a w- as I was doing the stuff together with the president and everything, he he would take time to talk to me, coach me, and um, so that there are definitely times that I made mistakes. And the thing about him is he don't really talk to me about it until I like approach him and say do you think this is right this is wrong then he would choose to let me know his opinions and I would usually ask him why he never tell me then he would tell me uh, everybody learns from their mistakes and if I don't allow you to make your mistake then uh, you you will never learn you, you only do things in the same way that I've done it and he didn't want that so that is something that I learned uh, when I was uh, very young that, that people actually give me the room to make mistakes. So how to empower someone? How can a person know that they are being empowered? I believe first you give them a, a role and they, they know why they are doing it. So there's always a meaning behind the task. And so when a person knows the meaning, I believe they, they are put in a in a place of already empowerment already because they know what why they are doing something and above that as you give them the role you give them the opportunity you allow them to plan plan in details so that they you know if you don't plan to you don't plan then you plan to fear so you allow them to plan and then after allowing them to plan allow them to make mistakes because it is true mistakes that one learn, and so that is another key factor. And then build on their successes. So there will be definitely successes that and strengths that they have. Build on these strengths. Build on these successes. And as you do that, there will be weakness that will surface. You need to be there by their side and cover their weakness and help them to also build that as a strength. And so I believe these are ways that you can empower one person.